So, hello there, welcome to my speed run of Wild True Loon. So this is a 100% full all gold star speed run. So what's going to happen is I start from the very beginning, connect up the computer like so, click power. So Wild True Loon is a programming based puzzle game. So uh, that teaches you elements, logical elements, and it doesn't teach you programming. So if you're looking for a game which teaches you programming, you'll have to look elsewhere. But what it does is it teaches you, well, logic, basically, the logic of programming. So, for example, um, each each puzzle is based around uh, either color-based, color-based puzzles or shape-based puzzles, or load-balancing puzzles. For example, this, these first, first missions are based around colors, so they introduce an element known as an expert system, which we still use today. So what you can use the expert system for is to separate information based on their color in this case. So in this game you have three colors, red, green and blue, and you have certain outputs. So puzzles will have requirements in their outputs as well. So, uh, so and there are multiple things you can use an expert system for. So in this game, uh, expert systems, just like in real life, uh, become obsolete quite quickly. The reason for that is because they're sl quite slow and also not particularly versatile because sometimes you will need more, uh, exactly one color or maybe two of another color or three three colors. So this mission here is very important as it teaches you uh, how how you can use a previously, previously used solution to help you solve a current problem. So you use this idea a lot in this game, um, this, uh, using previous solutions to help you solve current problems. Uh, for starters, it's, it's, it helps um, uh, visually because it, it simplifies a problem to its its base elements. Uh, this mission here introduces the decision tree color. So the decision tree color um, replaces the expert systems as expert systems are very slow in comparison. This mission here teaches you how to use uh, two decision tree colors to separate one one color from the input stream. So in this case you need only red. So what you can do is use two two decision tree colors and it will basically replicate an expert system however it's a lot more versatile than an expert system and a lot faster too this mission here is one of the most important missions in the game so what uh, because you can use the structure that is that is introduced in multiple puzzles so this structure here is known as an rgb sorter so what it does is sorts out information into red blue and green however it doesn't do that at the moment um, but i will alter it later to um to separate information into their primary colors. This mission here is the first of the shape-based puzzles. So what I mean is it, it introduces an element known as the sift. So sift is used as very similar to an expert system, except instead of sorting by sh color, it sorts by shape. So this can separate information based on the shape. There's not a lot of puzzles which use sifts, which is a bit, a bit, a bit sad because sifts are very, very useful useful components. This mission here uh, teaches you the importance of order when you're placing components. So technically speaking it shouldn't matter what order you place those components in. However in this case because triangles appear last in the later in the out input stream you need to sort them out first otherwise the output streams won't complete on time so, um, like so. So that, that's an example of load balancing but uh, this mission, Crowd Psychology, is the most difficult of the beginning missions. The reason for that is because it tests all of the skills that you should have you should have acquired from the tutorial so far. So what I'm doing is I'm going to send all of the red and blue uh, circles and squares to the top, and I'm going to send all of the green triangles to the bottom. There are multiple solutions for this puzzle. I'm just using this solution because it's... Um, it's easier to remember and also this idea is is used like this kind of kind of idea is used later on uh, to solve a later puzzle as well so th there are other solutions for that for that puzzle so that completes the the basics so this this mission here introduces the first of the modern day uh, machine learning algorithms known as a perceptron so modern day machine learning algorithms and components uh, use a probability-based approach to deciding whether or not a, something is correct or not. So the, the originally you would use something which is 100% accurate, but modern day components are based around prob a probability based. So this one is only 20% accurate. The reason for this is because we use these probability-based um, components is because they're faster, faster than, um, than normal. Uh, however, one thing you can use with these probability, one, one idea you can 
uh, use with these probability based components is because they're probability based I can send send uh, information oops I can I can randomly send information to to different outputs so in this case I'm, I'm doing what's known as load balancing so here I can I need 10 elements to the bottom and 30 to the top so what I can do is use an untrained perceptron to send a random amount of information to the bottom uh, this mission here is quite complicated, but you can simplify it by using an RGB sorter, which I am creating now. So I'm altering a previous, a previous puzzle to use an uh, to create an RGB sorter. And what I can do is also send the triangles to the bottom, like so. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing is sending all of the, all of the blue and green triangles to the bottom. But I'm doing the a, a terrible committing a terrible sin and also sending rubbish into the output now the reason for that is because I only need a 60% accuracy rating for that mission so that that is that is a wacky solution for that for that mission so if you understand my wacky solution for the previous missions then you should understand what I'm doing here so what I'm doing for this mission is very similar to the to what I did for the first mission so what I can do is send a is send a random amount of circles to the top and a random amount of circles to the bottom. The reason for this is because of load balancing reasons. So this requires 45 elements and these two require 30. So I need to send slightly more information to the bottom output than the other two. And what you will find if you do this is that this will complete with 0.1 second to spare. <laughs> so this is a speed run. Um, so, uh, so this mission here is, is the first mission of the tutorial missions which teaches you load balancing. So by applying load balancing ideas, you can send uh, one third of the information to the top and two thirds to the bottom. Since you need less information than this top output stream than this bottom output stream. And what you will find is that it, this will complete uh, within the time limit. Uh, so this is now we go to the infamous driving game so this is very infamous because it was part of the promotional materials for this game but there's also another reason why it's quite infamous and this is and I'm going to demonstrate what it is so I'm going to drive this car I'm going to trade the car and done and test run so what you just saw me so this is always makes me laugh but what you're meant to do in this mission is use WAS and D to drive the car around and what and what happens is the computer learns from your inputs however what you just saw me do is push is push W for a second, and then that completes that puzzle. So um, I'm I'm hoping that the um the developers never patch this game because if they do, they'll probably fix that, so I won't be able to do that anymore. But um, this is one of the reasons why I'm doing a speed run, is so that um yeah, just to demonstrate some a uh, various uh, number of tasks. This mission here demonstrates is the demonstrates that you can use in any gate. So decision trees are very versatile so I can use an any gate to send only green to one direction like so 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 I can use any gates to do that this mission here I'm going to use a special technique which I'm not going to tell you tell you what it is um, but so there are multiple ways multiple ways to complete this mission um, this is one of them and this is this is my secret way so um um, it uses a, a certain technique, which um, well, two techniques. One which ones which will be used later on. There we go. So that's my se super secret, super super secret um, solve for that one. And I also have another se super secret solve, and it's for this mission here. So this is not how you're meant to do this mission. Um, what what you what you're seeing is is not how you're meant to do it. But um, this is yeah my my super secret one. Um, there we go. So what you're meant to do is you're meant to like sort out one stream from the top and one stream from the bottom. But this one will may or may not work. Um, I can't guarantee that any of the solutions that I use in this will work for you because um, this game may may not like you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it might not be you. It might be the game. So um. Also, these solutions uh, will not work if you upgrade your computer. So um, in this game, you earn money by completing puzzles. Uh, you can use that money to buy to buy um, um, you can use that money to buy uh, um, uh, components uh, this 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 puzzle here is a trick so this this puzzle is trying to trick you into using all three all three components but what you can do is you can just use use um, use two to complete that uh, this mission here is quite difficult um, hopefully yeah, I can remember how it's done because if I don't I'll have to get the solution so this mission is this mission here is is, is quite difficult it's more difficult if the um, if the buttons don't work <laughs> oh 
what have I done? What have you done? Uh, uh, I've, 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 okay, so I've, yeah, I've, you, you may have noticed I've stopped talking, um, because yeah, I don't don't know what I'm doing now. Um, so essentially, yeah, what are you? Yeah, I don't don't know what I'm doing. That I think it's this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this works. Um, do you think it'll work? No, I have no faith that this will work. So I, I oh, it might not work. Uh, yay, it works. So I was trying to complete that one from memory. Sorry about that. That one is very complicated. Um, that one is extremely complicated. So in a previous mission, which I didn't even like bother to to um discuss. Um, what this mission here is quite simple. So you're trying to send only red to the output. So you have you have a uh, pre-made which is called only red. So we need to send four string like we need to fill this as quickly as possible. So what you can do is you can use parallels to separate the stream into four streams, and then use your mission from the to the only red mi previous only red mission to complete that. Uh, so this mission here, uh, oh, so this mission here is a replica of um, that mission which taught you how to use use a um, use use two decision tree colors to to er, er, two decision tree colors to separate out a single stream. Um, there's there's a better way to complete this puzzle, but this puzzle um, this will also this will complete this puzzle too. So there is a better way to do this. Um, here we are. But that's just a tutorial puzzle. Uh, automatic movie rater. I will probably need need the solution for, but I may or may may not need the solution for. I don't know. Um, so some of these I know the solution for. Some of them I don't. Um, quite a few of them have broken my runs before. Uh, the driving games are the ones that really really break the run though, um, because they semi random on how they work. Yay! That works. Yay! Oh, I'm so pleased. Um, so I'm. I'm kind of remembering a lot of these so this is an rgb sorter so i already have an rgb sorter so i can complete this uh like so there we go yay so i don't have to redo this mission again which is the other reason why you should alter alter the previous mission to be an rgb sorter uh predicting the sales what does this do uh this this looks like it's hard this looks like it's really really hard i'm going to have to Get the solution for this one so i have all of the solutions in a folder um i have multiple solutions for oh this one is hard uh yep okay so i have multiple solutions for um for puzzles okay it's this one Are you sure uh, uh the reason for that is because this game is is not particularly easy um, so this one requires a RGB sorter. So yeah, that's right. So this one looks complicated, but um, if you use that RGB sorter one, then it's not. So, so if you use this RGB sorter, it's not that complicated after all. Yay! So that one is quite difficult. So we're going to accuracy. Go. So this one, this one teaches you that um, you don't have to be one hundred percent accurate all of the time, which is a shame. Um, it's a this is a bad lesson to learn. <laughs> You should not learn this lesson if you're a programmer. Always be accurate. Always. Uh, this mission here uses an, a red any gate. So red any. So, so what what happens here is green. So this is a combination of um, multiple different types types of puzzles. Is this one? So here, so we're trying to put it's a load balancing one. So you're trying to put 25 into the top. But I complete that with 0.2 seconds to spare. So it's not an easy puzzle. Uh, this puzzle here uses my my secret secret. Um, I, this one uses my super secret solution. So um, if I see you using it, I know that you have used my solution. Um, thanks. Um, it's, it, this, so this solution won't work uh, if you. Um, a lot of the solutions I use uh, won't always work, um, so I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee um, that you can use them for anything. Um, this is one solution that you can use for this. There are many, many, many solutions for this one. I have about four or five. There we go. The, the reason why I use that one is because of the number of components. I like this mission because it looks like it's a load balancing mission and it looks quite hard, but in fact, it's it's not. It's just um, it's just it's just uh, this. So the invisible matter is the fact that you you remove the reds from the decision tree colors. There you go, and it completes just like that. 
Um, so next is we continue with the tutorials. So solvency assessment. Um, it's just trying to separate. This is basically a replica of Optimizer. Remember, remember that mission way at the start of the game. Except instead of um, throwing this stuff in the trash, we can put it into one of the other outputs. Uh, there's only one way to complete this, and the um, the other problem with that one is that the reds appear at the very end of the um, mission. Uh, this mission here only has one solution, which is a shame. And um, so what you're trying to do is put the triangles to the bottom because these um, because you need 40 of them. But um, yeah, the, this is pretty much the only solution which will give you gold stars because there's no you really really need to get the um, triangles out of the input streams as fast as you can. But these well, using only sifts, they they're too slow, so you you have to send all the all the triangles to the bottom. It looks like there could be multiple solutions for this one, but the problem is the um, triangle requirement slows down slows down um, how you can complete this mission. Uh, this mission here is a is is ah so this mission here uses um ideas from the previous mission so if you remember crowd psych how i solved crowd psychology the, this mission repl basically replicates that that idea which is why i use that idea um to complete crowd psychology so this make this simplifies uh, this particular mission so by using the crowd psychology idea of sending of like sifting out information um, you can also replicate this here. So what I'm doing is I'm sending only green, which was a mission previously, and then I'm sorting out only the um, circles from the others. So here, so this mission here um, teaches teaches you a bad lesson. So it teaches you to um, yeah, put trash into the outputs, which is, this is a terrible lesson to learn. Um, so what I'm doing here is connect, connect, there we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just getting rid of some of the green, not all of the green, because um, the green is the most numerous of the incorrect information. This is a horrible lesson to learn. Um, so observation of Mars, so you get to see my first ex exceptionally wacky wacky um, solution. So most of most of my solutions are quite wacky, but this one this one is quite magically wacky. Um, the reason for that is what you're going to see is I'm going to separate out only only the only the circle. So the only thing that's going to be sent out is the red circle. That is the only thing that will be sent to the output. Uh, what I mean is like, um, so technically what you're meant to do is sort out both both streams. But in this case I don't need to because I know where the circle, red circle is. Like so. It's just like magic. <laughs> so I use that solution because it uses least the least amount of components. Which is the fastest way to set up. It's the fast way to set up that, that solution. This mission here uses the first of the genetic types type of um, solvers. So genetic solvers are used to create genetic algorithms. I've never made used one or made one myself. I can't see why you would use one. Essentially what, what it happens is uh, you train it on um, train it to try and find a good solution and if it finds one you 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 retrain it. Um, instead of retraining it from the very start you re you train train it from what it's learned. So um, it's very inaccurate but of course it could also be very accurate. So it's it's basically random. So in this mission is this mission is a load balancing mission. So what you're going to do is connect green to the top and everything else to the bottom. I'm going to copy you and paste you there. Connect, connect. And so this is a load balancing problem. So you only need 10, 10 greens at the top. So this will this will quite happily complete that in time. So I'm going to do do the driving games now. So um, so here so for the driving games, uh, the driving games aren't very good. Like technically if they had a game based around this i would really enjoy it but the problem is um this is it so so you have a set of numbers which you can alter and um and so you you alter them to see if you can successfully make a self-driving uh, reinforcement learning based uh, car driving algorithm but um these numbers mean nothing right so it's 100 percent percentage 100 percent. i don't know what that means you don't have any feedback so this just setting everything to a hundred seems to work. So you might as well just do that all of the time. So um, this is one of the problems with the um, self-driving car algorithms. So here, um, so here I'm just gonna put, put this here again. <laughs> I'm gonna tune that. So for this one, you you only have one chance to get this correct. So the correct uh, things is that. So see, you only have one chance to to get this correct. So um, if you if you fail to get it correct the first time, then um, you fail to get gold, a gold star. So I just so the correct settings are this: ten percent, fifty-five, and one. 
and that will give you a self-driving car I don't know what any of this means um, it's, it's it, you don't have any any feedback from the game about like what it means or how they how any of that works which is a real shame um, in this mission you it's it's uh, you're given more detectors so in the previous mission you were just given one detector here you get a detector and multiple detectors um, which you can use to to help you uh, help help the car drive however however there's a trick to this one so what what you can do is so if you remember the settings from that previous mission so this mission gives you lidars which are more lidars which are the side side detectors so um, if I turn all of the side detectors off then what I'm doing is I'm effectively repeating the previous mission and the previous mission was a success so so you can just do this yeah and that's so it's effectively I've changed a car which has more detectors on it into the exact same mission that I just completed so all you have to do is use the same same settings that you used to complete that last mission turn off all of the lidars and complete this mission it's a, it's a bit of a joke and this last mission um, yeah it's it's very much the same so we'll just grab this connect all these guys whoops connect these guys here like so and then connect this to the output and then tune it so you might notice that I, I don't test anything so the settings for this one are 100 100 100 100 turn all of the lidars off don't forget turn these guys off and what's going to happen is it's going to drive like an absolute pro <laughs> it's just gonna it's just gonna drive like a pro <laughs> especially going to drive like a pro when there's nobody in front of it but yeah it'll just drive like a pro um i don't know why it's just numbers so yeah like this this game th this could be better this part of the game could be it's an entirely separate game on its own but there's no way to interact with it or get any proper feedback from this these particular missions which is a bit disappointing anyway so now that we're away from these so i'm going to do trajectory first so i may need the solution for this one but i also may not need the solution for this one uh you never know so here so it might be ed something like this i'm not not exactly sure this this might be the solution i'll, I'll just test it it can't hurt no this can't be the solution it must be this one <laughs> yes yeah, so so i think i think this is the solution i don't know i'll just have to sit here and wait this is the problem with uh, if, uh, trying to complete things from memory um, like some of them get very very complicated uh, I do remember this one though uh, mainly because I remember uh, saying what the um, what the solution to this was uh, multiple times in a previous 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 solution uh, previous run something like this um, so yeah so you kind of need the solutions for these ones so, so um, yeah, I don't really have an explanation to what the solution for these ones are. Um, I just, I've just done them before, and they were painful to do back then, and they're painful again to do. So, some of these puzzles are pain just painful to do all of the time. Oh, what's this one? Oh, I've forgotten how to do this one. Ooh, it's, this is going to be interesting. I've actually forgotten how to do do this one. Is it? Is it just no. Uh, I think it's this. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm entirely not sure. I think it's something like this. The problem is the time requirement. See, that they completed with 0.5 seconds to spare. So it's the time requirement for those ones. So the next next few missions. So this mission here introduces the decision tree shape. So this will this um, supersedes the sifts. So you won't you won't see you generally won't see sifts anymore because this one is better. Though technically this one isn't isn't as good as a sift because a sift does does the job of two 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 of those guys so i'm going to skip um that statistic the statistic one the reason for that is because i need to complete this puzzle first so I test run this so i need this pre-made um to help me solve one of the later puzzles so do do so i need to complete this one first um, this is pretty much how you complete this one there's no there's, there's there's no alternate solutions unfortunately you have too few too few components so and i'm going to com complete th this one so this one has a very wacky solution if i remember correctly um something like this something something like this three uh no 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 it's blue yeah so something like this this is very very strange so rubbish something like this is it this i think it's this i don't know i can't remember it's something like this 
It's it's a very strange solution for this one. The reason for this is because there's so, you have so few components, and you just yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a weird one, is that one? And so this one, so this this puzzle is very 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 easy to do. However, I can't do it unless I upgrade the computer. So what I can do is use a pre-made. So I can use this pre-made solution to help me solve this puzzle. So what's going to happen here is is I'm going to run this. So if I manually do this, it will be too slow to complete. But by using a pre-made solution, this one, um, this one will complete. Please complete with zero seconds to spare so it's 29 out of 29 so it, it completes exactly with with just the right amount of time right so this mission i can never quite remember how to do this uh doo -doo -doo, i will try I can, I can never quite remember how to do this one screen so what's going to happen is in the square I think it's something like this. Um, don't don't quote me on that though. N -E -N -N something something like this, I think. I can't be entirely sure. It's, it's this one is a very has a very weird solution. The problem is the time limit. The time limit for this one is very strict. And ah, so I can't do this tree either. I need a um I need to complete one of the um later solutions to complete that tree. Ah, I hate this mission. So this mission is a CST sort. So it sorts out um. Uh, circles, triangles, and squares. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set out the CST first, and then I'm going to copy and paste this, and then use the other solution. So what I can do is switch to this screen here, paste two of these guys, put in a balancer, and then put you here. And what's going to happen is, so I'll complete this mission, and then when I use the um, use a pre-made from this mission, it will use a CST sorter instead of the solution that I have given it here. There you go. So I'll release that. So I'll go to classify, classified mail. So this one is very difficult. This one is, is extremely difficult, actually. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to remember this, the solution for this one because the solution for this one is really weird. Like you'll just look at it and it's just like, how blue? What is this? And even even I agree. Um, is it blue? I don't know. Is is it really this? I think it's this. I don't, I'm not. No, it can't be. No, it's green. It's green. It's green. 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 Green grows in the trash, I think. So yeah, this. Oh, I hope the solution works. It's it's very weird. Uh, that's it. <laughs> no, no, I haven't connected up. Uh, this one. There you go. So this is the solution for this one. Um, well, this is one of the possible solutions. This is the solution I'm using. Um, yeah, it's it's really hard to explain. It shouldn't work. And and. In theory, it absolutely, positively should not work, but it does. <laughs> it's a, it's an absolute mess. Now, Visa Center, Visa Center, I can't. Ah, this one. So Visa Center is is quite difficult. So it needs an RGB sort. So this one is actually quite difficult. So I'm 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 not doing this one from memory. Uh, I mean, I am doing this one from memory. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to check out what the answer is. This one is. It it just has an odd, an odd set of so. Uh, circle square, circle triangle, circle square. Okay. So circle square, circle triangle, and circle square. Right. It's it's really weird the logic behind this. It makes perfect sense. Um, makes perfect sense. Uh, later. So all red circles go to the top right, and all square square triangles and triangles go to the bottom. Um. So here. So circle. So circle square. So all 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 green circles and squares. So all green circles and squares go there, and all all circle triangles. So triangles go to the top, and circles go to here as well. They can't be circles; it has to be square. And so therefore, blue blue circle triangles go to the top, and square blue squares go to the middle. So it should be here. So if I run this, it should work. So the problem with this one, so so if I had two decision tree shapes for all three colors, this one would be easy. But in this case, because of the blue has to share with the um this this decision tree shape, yeah, it makes it a little bit confusing. Uh, police technology is very difficult. I hope I get this right. Um, so this needs a balancer. So I'll put in the 
Oh, it's starting. This game is starting to lag. So this game starts to lag really badly. Right, I need to get this this one correct. I the last run I had where I got to this stage, yeah, I broke I broke the run, so the run, it, I completely got it wrong. So I need a CST sort, which is way down the bottom, I think. CST sort, this one. So I need two of these guys. Ah, uh, actually, I need one blue. Okay, hang on, hang on. So we get the trash can. So all squares go to the trash. Uh, all blue triangles go to the bottom. All red triangles go to the middle. Uh, red circles all go to the bottom, and we have something special for um, the blue. So now I have to connect up red to red, blue to you, red to red, blue to you. So what happens here is I separate the blue circles. So here I, I have a set of blue circles, and where do I do I send them top and middle? Please, please work. <laughs> So this this mission is very slow, like th this mission can slow you right down. I, I just pray I've put these the this the sorter in the right, right way. I pray I've gotten I've gotten this right. Please please, yes. Oh thank goodness I don't want to have to do that one again or work out the, whether I've not I've, I've done the logic correct. Oh that's a painful mission. So this mission here uses an RGB sort and um. And uh, the CST sorts. This this is not a particularly difficult mission. So I, I quite like uh, the style of mission. So this is a replica. So you get to see this particular setup quite often in this game. And I quite like how you get to use various components to complete it. I think that's quite cool. It's quite a cool idea. So you see, you'll see this output where you need like a red circle, green square, and green triangle, and you can use different components to complete this. Now I need this. I need this solution to help me complete a later puzzle, which is the NVD sort. And I'm going to have to look up the answer for that, that puzzle too, because it's very difficult. So I need this solution to complete this puzzle. And this puzzle is extremely hard. It, um, ooh, what's that called? Fast fast sword or something? Uh, it's a quick sword, this one. So yeah, this, 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 this puzzle is extremely hard. Um, so I'm going to have to find the answers. So one of the problems with using pre-mades is I can't see the out the required outputs. Yeah, this, oh, this puzzle is extremely difficult. Um, yep, it is. So this is one of the hardest. I think this is. I think this and the next puzzle are the hardest. I think. I personally think that. Uh, just because, just because of the way the setup for it, it's really really strange. So squares. The problem is all squares go to the bottom, and the colors are also very strange as well. So if I go, and there's also a a, a weird technique that I use as well because you can't use a rubbish bin. So oh, oh, this this is starting to hurt. This is hurting my brain. Uh, continue. This is hurting my brain. Uh, any? Uh, please, please don't. Please work. There there are a lot of problems which could go wrong. Uh, for this puzzle, uh, um, that one, so that goes there. I'm pretty sure you separate this and send it. Uh, where do you go? Bottom and top, bottom, bottom and top. Please, please work. Please work. Please don't be mean game. Don't be a mean game. Uh, please. Uh, um. So you, yeah, you might hear me pleading with this game because I'm. This game is not not a forgiving mistress, that's for sure. So square, because so, I can only really run this once. So the other problem with um, with these premates is, um, yeah, you can you can basically only run them once. Like, what I mean is, uh, where does that go? I don't know. It says there, there. So what I mean is, so I can connect these guys up right, and I run it. So I can't see what's going on in this pre-made. So there might be a, a mistake. Please work, please. There might be a mistake in this pre-made somewhere, and I, I can only judge by the output on whether or not it will succeed or not. Yes, it worked. Whoa! Thank you. And now then the the hardest puzzle of the game, which is this one. So this one is is really really hard. Oh, where is it, Kenny? Oh, I'm just glad I f completed that one. So if I could do that puzzle from memory, then then I could probably complete this game really, really quickly. But there's no way, no way I could complete that one from memory. Same with this one. This one is also really, really complicated. 
there are just some puzzles in this game which are so so complex this one this one is one of the puzzles which shouldn't work uh yeah this one this one should not work uh, there's, so there's a few solutions which uh logically should not work but they practically do this is just like um in real life when you're programming stuff uh, some things some things um will practically work in but in in real life uh, in real and logically on paper they should not and this is one of them the reason for that is because the number of components i can use is, is severely limited and plus i use a whole bunch of nifty techniques as well um which which i won't explain because i'm trying to concentrate on finishing this because this is this is really hard oh this this game this game is quite punishing like i said it's fun but it's it's fun when you're starting out and you're learning how to play but um yeah, after that initial stage this game gets really tough especially if you're stuck on one of the puzzles like you, you may just think oh i'll just copy all of your puzzles uh, your answers right and it's like yeah, it doesn't quite work like that um uh, yeah it doesn't work like that at all it, it doesn't quite work it like that because not because that's a wrong the wrong thing to do it's just that um um oh, is that what uh it's just that there, there are there are other easier ways to do to complete this puzzle than the one i'm doing this what i'm doing is nonsense this is silly I, i'd highly advise nobody to do this but um here so there's a green green triangle right and you go circle and then to this one oh please work i, I honestly don't know so this is apparently the solution for this one so yeah it's really complicated right it is um there are simpler solutions that you can use for this one but yeah this one worked this one also works with 0.1 seconds of spare um so this is why people complain about this game because if you upgrade your computer then this then a lot of the solutions become just trivial ah so speaking of trivial so this mission here introduces a new probability based component which is the perceptron shape so you'll get two types of perceptrons one uh well three types mark one perceptron <coughs> the perceptron shape and the perceptron color <coughs> <coughs> sorry about sorry about the coughing um and these do basically what they say so this will separate things based on shape so this is a lot more accurate than um the mark one perceptron which also which also separates information based on shape is that oh, i think i was just coughing because i'm really happy about completing that previous mission to be honest um so this this one introduces the perceptron color so i'm well on my way to finishing this game yay finally yay yeah, the, the hurdles of the difficult problems have been solved because the these later problems are, are relatively easy they're not they're not super easy but compared to the previous puzzles they are a lot easier than that so um some people might complain like why are you uh, fully training these perceptrons and the reason for that is because my solutions are like require require absolute accuracy um because um i don't have i haven't upgraded the computer so i can't use speed to complete um puzzles here we go so perfect photo so how does this one work uh decision ah yeah i know how this one goes so uh this one this one is so i use a use a color sorter here and i'm going to use a special trick so if you remember that um you can send you can send using any gate oh, no, no, this one. so i'm using some certain a uh, trick here so what i'm doing here is i'm sending all of the reds at the bottom all the blues to the top not a problem but the problem is this green here it's so i need to send one green circle to the center oh neon city is really hard if i remember correctly you're really really hard aren't you i'm gonna have to get the solution yes I, no 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 is it no i i can't remember i have to get the solution uh this so this one is really really hard ah it's this guy yeah hang on so this is a wacky solution um so don't don't use this one uh where is it uh rtb sort so so this yeah this is a wacky solution uh, and, uh, so yeah, yeah you don't don't blame me if you use this and it fails it's your fault uh, don't blame me uh here and here so uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to break is it any in a square so what i'm doing here is i'm going to break the machine uh, uh hopefully will it work so what i've done here is i've broken the machine so the machine's broken right but what happens is because i sent enough accurate information it completes that mission <laughs> it's just it's terrible uh so if you understand what i did in the previous mission then you'll understand what i do here so this is also a wacky solution for this one so that previous mission yeah that's not that's not how you should do that it's there and 
beer and beer and beer. So in this mission, what I'm doing is I'm only sending the the um, correct information to the outputs. So I'm not going to send anything red. There we go, and that will complete this one too. This is why these these uh, problems aren't aren't particularly difficult. In fact, you um, need to um, increase uh, need to increase. You need to um, improve your computer to complete complete um to complete these uh, these solutions. Uh, uh, well, uh, you may have noticed I haven't gone to the shop to improve my computer at all. Uh, that's because the solutions that I have come up with uh, don't require any um, upgrades. However, I'm going to have to upgrade the computer um, um, to complete Major Tom and uh, uh, two of the missions. So there's only two missions in this game before um, RN ends that you need to upgrade the computer for. So one is so one is Major Tom. So I can't complete Major Tom. It can't be done. Um, this one, this one, what is, what is this one? Ah, yeah, yeah, hang on. So anything red. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> is that really going to work? I don't know. Um, I don't know. This might work. Yay, it worked. Yay. And I can't fix, so I need to upgrade my computer before I do fix our engine and Major Tom. The reason for that is because I need um, different components, uh, CST and RGB. And so the interesting thing about um, this this particular puzzle, so this is our, our familiar friend with circles, squares and triangles. The interesting thing about this one is you don't need a rubbish bin. You don't need to use a rubbish bin for this one because... Um, this timer here counts down once it receives the correct information. So once the machine breaks, you complete this one. So I'm going to have to upgrade the computer, I believe. I'll just complete Meteor Meteorite Alarm because it's one of my favorite missions. So this here is one of my favorite missions. Um, the reason for that is because... Trash can, trash, trash. The reason for that is because... Um, I came up with the solution like just out of the blue and it was really really fun um, this is one of the few where I just uh, spontaneously received received the um, the solution to this one just one day it's just like oh I know what the solution to this one is so remember how um, a random so an untrained perceptron will send information randomly right so what you can do for this one is this so so this bottom input stream is all greens, right? So what I can do is just randomly send them out to be sorted. And and um like this. I just came up with this like when I saw it. It's just like, oh, oh that's brilliant. I feel like a genius now. So speaking of genius, so I'm going to have to go to the shop. So I'm going to the shop and I'm going to buy all of the notes. So I'll buy all these guys and I'm going to go to the hardware and I'm going to buy everything that will increase the, the node speed. So I don't care particularly about the um um, transfer speed I'll buy them anyway so so this takes time so this takes time where I'm not solving the not playing the game and not solving solving um problems uh, so that should be enough I think here we go so I'll go back so we go back to the tree so I can solve major Tom now so major Tom needs this one needs the um the isolated forest element which is why you can't you can't complete this one unless you upgrade the computer which which is uh, slightly annoying but uh, understandable um, here so this one uses an isolated forest so what I'm going to do is send only the circles to there and there and there and that's done so this is the only way to do this to get gold because of the three star rating um, I've upgraded the computer so I should be able to so from now on I just complete the game now um, pretty much there you go yay do 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 and that should complete that one it should complete that one yay so you need that's the only way to complete that mission and this this and you also need a a forest for this one so what i mean is a random forest so we're going to separate them by color oops no by color so here what's going to happen is this is red green so send red green red blue to the bottom and green so this is the only way to complete this one because this one uh, with gold stars because this one requires you only allowed two components so these are the only two two components which can complete this this task just because of the color requirement yeah and that's it so now we are on to the final run so this this is the, so i'm almost finished yeah, come on come on come on here we go almost finished almost finished i almost finished so i'll use the stochastic gradient descent to train this because it's exceptionally fast to train this one is exceptionally fast. Do, 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 do. Yes, thank you. 
and we'll connect to you and go run. So um, yeah, this game is basically finished. I'm just no, I'm not going to be able to finish this in time. I think. So um, I wanted to finish but it below 50 minutes, but it's not possible. I think it's not. I've, I've I've used up too much time. Maybe if I did um some of those those difficult puzzles from memory, I might have been able to complete this with before 50 minutes. But no, no, I'm not going to make it. Um, so here, the reason for that is because of important numbers, which is the next, this mission here. This mission is very slow. So here, uh, RNN, RNN. Yeah, this, this mission is, is extremely slow. Even if you upgrade the computer fully, this, this mission is still quite slow. So I, I have to do the armor mission, which I should be able to do really, really quickly. And oh, that last mission, no, I can't do it. I don't think I can do it in under 50 minutes. I was, I've been... No, I can't. I don't think I can do it. Technically, technically, I speed run the um other one in, in with two minutes or something. Uh, I don't don't think so. I need you, and you. I'll grab two of you actually. You, you. So I need to train this one as fast as possible. Just to go. Here we go. Train, 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 train. Please train quickly. Yay! Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Complete this as fast as I can as fast as I possibly can run and then I have to complete the last the last mission ah I should have used a single armor ah, I, I think I won't lose too much time if I go so I've got the last this is the last mission oh please 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 I think so I need the pre-made no 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 I need the armor pre-made and I need to get rid of you and just use the armor save back so you here, uh, red, 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 green, 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 blue, green, blue, green, blue. Please, 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 please. That should be done. Go, go, please, please. Is it going to work? Please, under fifty minutes. Come on, come on, please. Have I done that correctly? I don't know. Did I, I don't. No, did I please, please, please release in as soon as I put it? Yay! Yeah, forty-seven minutes. Yes. So there's a guy on YouTube who completed the game in seven hours. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, so I, I don't think I can. If yeah, if I if I could do um candy production and stuff from memory, I could probably beat beat that time but i'm not gonna no that's that's I'm, I'm very happy with this yay so that's the end of the game yay yay congratulations yay 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 oh man i'm so happy i'm never doing this speed run again <laughs> not that i can though because i'm sure the um developers these nice lovely people nice lovely people on the list i'm sure i'm sure they will oh yes these nice lovely people will probably patch the game, so I'm never going to be able to speed run this at 100% again, not in under 47 minutes. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you to all of the developers, thank you to everybody who was watching, and I will see you next time, so I'm going to go edit this film. Yay! Yay! Yay!